I'm going to try and trim. I don't know what we can do here. Of course there is gas. I No, I am sure that there's actually a book on carving wands. I'm surprised I actually don't have it already. But... All right, let's thin this edge here. Sweet. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, Fox Chapel does all the carving books. I didn't vote for wand. Shanigans, I didn't vote for wand. We've had this discussion. I am much more about themes than items when it comes to voting. I did not vote for wands. I am much more theme oriented because it gives you interpretation, gives you room for interpretation. Yeah, Cass, I think they should. I mean, I think one, it's just easier to bring with you places, so. I don't know, Boyd. I mean, we have, uh, I think theme leaves a little bit more to interpretation, a little bit more to creativity. I mean, an item as specific as a wand, I think is something that uh, just becomes very, I mean, becomes very limiting. We've got some great entries, so. You mean how is what level do you have to be to have walnuts emote? Hold on, what are you talking about? Limiting might not be it, but I mean, I don't know. I. I'm not a fan of specific items. Well, yes, you can make different types of wands and different styles and stuff like that, but a wand is still just a wand. See, I like themes because you can people can interpret it different ways. While you may not agree with their interpretation, it's still neat to see different interpretations. So, Well, yes, it is limiting, but I don't know. Yes, theme is a restriction, yes. But, I mean, a wand is a wand. There's only, I mean, well, I guess there's there's many ways you can make a wand. But, I don't know. I, I'm just not with it. I'm not feeling it. 